In this video, I will explain to you uh, for this Architect uh, antenna series uh, for uh, this uh, DJI Phantom 4 Pro or uh, DJI Phantom 4 Pro Plus. Uh, on here, we have a uh, three uh, series. Uh, we have a uh, 2.4 panel and uh, 5.8 panel and uh, door band panel. Also, we have a uh, 2.4 Omni, 5.8 Omni and uh, dual band omni directional antenna. So first we talk about uh, this uh, panel antenna. Usually uh, uh, for a pilot they they need to fly on their aircraft for a long distance uh, or they work, they they need uh, to test on the uh, fly range. So uh, they may need to use this uh, panel antenna uh, to fly your aircraft. But uh, the, uh, this uh, panel antenna is very directional. Uh, during your flight, your aircraft, your antenna must uh, always pointing to your aircraft uh, directional. And then uh, you may need to adjust the angle uh, during your flight to get the uh, uh, best uh, antenna range. So for the uh, omnidirectional, omni uh, usually uh, it is not used for a uh, rain test. But it's used for uh, some of this uh, uh, frame maker, or we use on this uh, DJI Go uh, intelligent flight mode. So uh, it will coverage more uh, surrounding uh, the, the area, and we we'll get a better this uh, live view and a uh, uh, signal performance. And why 2.4, 5.8, and dual band? So uh, we need to talk about this uh, DJI Phantom 4 Pro or Phantom 4 Pro Plus on the Go apps. Once you go into the Go apps, as you may know, this uh, uh, Phantom 4 Pro or Pro Plus uh, is come with a uh, 2.4 and 5.8. Uh, that's that's me we call this a dual band. But uh, the channel is not uh, automatic switching. So if you are installing this. Uh, 2.4 and then uh, you may need to click on the HD mode and then from here you may need to select the 2.4 to fly your aircraft and if you uh, switch uh, to a 5.8 and then uh, and you may need to uh, switch on a 5.8 okay so for the dual band uh, the best we use for this uh, because uh, during your flight, if you are uh, using a 2.4 uh, from a beginning, when you fly about uh, half or one or two miles after uh, you get uh, this uh, strong interference in the, uh, interference uh, effect, so you no need to return your aircraft. You can. Uh, Directly go into the HD mode and then from 2.4 you switch to a 5.8 mode. So, this is the advantage for uh, this uh, dual band antenna. If you are using a 2.4 antenna, when during your flight you, you selected a 2.4 and you fly uh, halfway, you get this uh, strong interference, then you cannot pick to 5.8 because. Uh, if you get your signal loss because uh, you are using a 2.4 it's not a dual band same also if you are using a 5.8 when during your fly uh, you take off you select 5.8 to fly your aircraft and you fly in a halfway you get a strong interference and you cannot switch between 5.8 to 2.4 because this is uh, not a dual band series so uh, if you want to use this uh, panel antenna then you no need to uh, replace 2.4, 5.8, of 5.8 to 2.4. Straight away, you sit dual band, and you just select from a uh, Go app 2.4 and 5.8 when during your flight. So you can uh, get a more far range uh, test. So I hope uh, you all know this uh, DJI Go. It, from here you can see this is auto but it's not automatic switch between 2.4 and 5.8 it's only auto between this channel uh, selected from our dji 
or you can choose custom and then you can pick a uh, which channel you need so if you lock on the uh, 20 27 channel because uh, I just uh, enable this 32 channel so if you select 5.8 also you can choose custom and then you can choose uh, which channel you need for a best range so by default it comes with an auto channel but it's not auto 2.4 and 5.8 remember uh, some uh, customer they confusing regarding this uh, 2.4 and 5.8 so I hope uh, this video uh, I will get you understand uh, what is uh, 2.4, 5.8 and uh, doorbell series from uh, this Architect antenna series. If you like uh, our channel, please uh, uh, subscribe to our channel for uh, more product uh, release coming soon. Thanks for watching.